좀 싱거운 것 같다고. 왜 그랬어요? Leaving the royal life behind by marrying a commoner, these royals may just be as interesting as our beloved British royals. The controversies run deep and we're digging them all up for you right now. Before we dive into the dark side of Japanese monarchy, make sure to subscribe to the Taco for more awesome videos. Now let's get into it. Japan has a very long history dating back hundreds and hundreds of years. Their rich culture has brought tourists coming to see the beautiful country for years, but behind closed doors, there is a royal family that may have more secrets than they'd like to admit. From outside observers of the world's oldest monarchy, things may look fine, but things are changing in 2018. When 83-year-old Emperor Akihito spoke to his country through a rare television address and announced he may need to leave the throne, he told his people that he would be abdicating, leaving his position, which will bring his eldest son, Crown Prince Naruhito, to take the throne. The act of stepping down from the position of emperor is constitutionally barred, and no one has done it in over 200 years. So this obviously started some chatter, but for more reasons than just that. Despite Japan being a liberal democracy, the monarchy is still hereditary, much like those in Europe. But when the emperor said he may step down, this shed light onto Princess Masako, a woman who long ago practically disappeared once marrying Japan's crown prince in 1993. At the time, she got married in her beautiful kimono and was called the Princess Diana of Japan. But where has she been since and is the woman okay? Her name, Masako Awada, was a young, ambitious commoner who arrived at the Togu Palace in central Tokyo 24 years prior to 2018 and since has rarely been seen. Now, with the emperor stepping down, Princess Masako will be in the spotlight once again. People may see the strict rules that lie inside the walls of the palace and the traditions that may be more harsh than practical when she is revealed. Though the emperor isn't even involved in the lawmaking process, the family represents the country and must honor the traditions. The Japanese monarchy works very different than most Western cultures and, of course, the British royal family. It is the oldest monarchy in the world, meaning traditions have run for so long to defy them would be blasphemy. The once enthusiastic woman is now likened to a broken butterfly. When marrying into the royal family, many women were inspired by Princess Masako as she vowed by saying, My task is to find a healthy balance between the role of a crown princess and my own personality. Later down the line, the courts would ignore her and she would not be taken seriously. Within the first six years, she was dismissed as frivolous for going to the occasional sporting event or fashion show. Until one day, it was made known to the public that she had a miscarriage, and finally, two years later, she gave birth to a girl. To appease her critics of calling her wild, she stopped doing the sport she liked to play or even going out. Suddenly, this woman was nowhere, trapped by the pressure to conform in a society that seemingly put tradition higher than mental health. Reporter Ben Hills wrote a book called Masako and said that she cannot leave the royal apartments without permission permission, has no money, credit cards, or even a telephone of her own, and is constantly watched over by courtiers. Clearly, it has not been the life she intended to lead within the palace. But it isn't just Masako that has secrets swimming around her. The young Princess Mako of Akishino, whose father is the second in line to the throne when the current emperor steps down, Princess Mako is somewhat of an internet idol for reasons we will tell you soon. In August 2018, controversy started to swirl around the lavish princess when her family requested that the commoner, as they call her not royal fiancé, solve the financial dispute within the family. Princess Mako's parents requested a life plan, including details of his future career prior to marrying their daughter. Sounds like they may be a little skeptical of her choice of partner, whose name is Keiu Kamuru. Princess Mako announced to the public that they didn't have enough time to prepare for the events of the wedding, hence it would be pushed. While the Japanese tabloids announced it was financial issues needing to be addressed from the side of Kamuro. As of fall 2018, the wedding has been called off, but the couple has stated they plan to keep in touch while Kamuro attends law school at New York's renowned Fordham University and want to one day get married in the future. We wonder if that will ever truly happen as the Imperial House declined a comment of this news. We kind of think that if Princess Mako was willing to give up her royal title for love, then they best get married sometime soon, don't you? This was a fairy tale made to happen shut down by the powers of the great imperial house. Are we in Disney's Mulan? As for the financial issues, Princess Mako definitely does not have any of those. Her lifestyle is of the rich and famous, one that could even rival Kim Kardashian's. We know, that's a serious statement. But just wait, we're going to give you the details. She attended university in Dublin to learn English and was educated at a handful of other prestigious schools to receive the best education. She has traveled around the world for her imperial duties, but the kicker is not all the travel and education. 
oh no, it's her net worth. Princess Mako is worth a whopping $40 million, and on top of that, she's cool as ever. Her favorite sport is baseball, and she owns an orange Mazda RX-7 and a pimped-out Toyota. Just when you thought the Japanese royalty was boring, think again. Princess Mako isn't the only princess willing to give up her title for love. Princess Ayako also has fell for a commoner. Japan's royal family was in disarray at the number of women leaving the royal palace for love. On October 29, 2018, Princess Ayako shocked Japan when she married the love of her life, Kei Moria, in Tokyo. The ceremony was a traditional Japanese ceremony that once finished meant she was married and had officially left the imperial house. She is the third daughter of Emperor Akihito's late cousin, Prince Takamato. After the ceremony, the princess politely spoke to the public saying, I'm filled with joy to get married and to have so many people visit us at the Mei Shrine and congratulate us. For about three generations, the Japanese royal family has been given the freedom to marry who they choose. The current emperor, Emperor Akihito, was the first crown prince to marry a commoner who became Princess Masako, or the Broken Butterfly. Of course, he got to stay within the imperial family, whereas the women are forced to renounce their royal title. Princess Ayako is known as Ayako Maria after the marriage. What do you think about this rule for men versus women? Speaking of which, with the abdication of the throne impending, the succession to the throne is something of a major controversy in Japan. The emperor announced he would be stepping down by April 2019 due to his age and health, making it hard for him to fulfill his duties. The prime minister announced the date and since then, there has been major discussions. Many think that since it's 2018 and it's crazy that women cannot succeed to the throne, that it must be updated. Um, yeah, we have to agree. But tradition is tradition. Tradition, right? But especially in a time when gender equality is so important, maybe traditions need to change. The other problem is the lack of male heirs to the throne. Would the monarchy rather hold on to this law than adjust it? The matter only gets worse when we look at the current heirs to the throne. The crown prince Naruhito, who will succeed to the imperial throne in 2019 when his father abdicates, only has one daughter. And since 1960, only two other males have been born within the royal family, which are Prince Akishino, the younger brother of Prince Naruhito, and his son Prince Hisahito of Akishino. As for princesses, there are eight, but many already resign themselves to marrying commoners and leaving the imperial household. Which makes sense when you have no dynastic rights to the throne of Japan, despite being in the monarchy. We mean, like duh, we do the same thing. This absurd olden day rule most likely needs to be changed, and it is only up to the Japanese parliament to do so. About this issue, Princess Mako, who still plans to marry paralegal Kei Kimuro, said of this issue, I was aware since my childhood that I'll leave a royal status once I marry. Sounds kind of sad to us, doesn't it? Just think about the women royals who have so much influence, like the Queen of England to name the most obvious, but also Princess Diana and of course Kate Middleton. We need women, people! As for the British royal family, they have a wonderful and respectful relationship with the Japanese royals, dating way back to the year 1868. Now, we're going on a small history detour that you won't regret joining us on. Way back, the then Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Alfred, son of Queen Victoria, visited Japan where he was entertained by the young Emperor Meiji at a palace in Tokyo. Since then, for many years, various members of the British royal family would visit Japan and always had such great experiences. However, after the war, things were not as good as before between the two royal Households. This was recognized by the Prime Minister at the time, the famous Winston Churchill. To fix the problem, he invited the Japanese crown, Prince Akihito, to represent Japan at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth in 1953. This helped mend ties, and while years passed, it almost became a tradition for members of the Imperial Household of Japan to attend Oxford University. More recently, that tradition was broken with Prince Akishino's daughters, Princess Mako and Kako. However, it didn't seem to cause any harm with the family's long standing relations. Princess Kako Mako is much more private than her sister, Princess Mako, who was, as we previously mentioned, became an internet sensation. But how did that happen exactly when she isn't on social media? Well, in 2004, a photo of the princess in her school uniform leaked and practically went viral online. Supporters of the princess quickly began making fan art of the image. However, since it was all praise and nothing bad said about her of the royal family, no one really was too upset from the imperial household about the publicity. Princess Mako is more than just an internet sensation, though. Her roots of helping her people run deep. In 2011, the princess visited areas affected by the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami and volunteered under an alias she made up by herself. But that didn't last too long as many recognized the young monarch at the time. As for traditions, to welcome in the 2018 New Year's, the entire imperial family all gathered at the imperial palace in Tokyo with beautiful tiaras that shone bright. It was supposed to be Princess Mako's last appearance at this event, but since her wedding is now cancelled, we're certain to see 
see her in her tiara once again to welcome in 2019. With all these rules, secrets, and princesses living their own lives, it seems like a lot may change in 2019 with the abdication of the emperor. Certainly, the Japanese monarchy will need to modernize the way they run the dynasty. But despite all these dark details, the princesses are helping their people, while Princess Masako, who was once shut in the palace like Jasmine from Aladdin, will now be free. What do you think about Japan's royal family? Are their rules too strict and is too much kept out of the public eye? We want to know your thoughts, so make sure to leave a comment below. Subscribe to The Taco for more thrilling videos and give this one a like next time. The Imperial House of Oh, <laughs> 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 <